How's it going, guys? Big Baby Blue Eyes, and here we are for more Dark Souls. I know I said I was starting this in June, but my XCOM playthrough, it, uh, I just can't do it. So here we are, uh, in Undeadburg. And if you saw my other video, which I'm, I don't know why you'd be watching this without watching the last one, I just explained what my run is. Or, you know, what my uh, set rules are. Don't expect a lot of lore in this series, either. Um, it's not going to be a very lore-heavy series. And also, it's not going to be, you know, that uh, sort of, like unedited of a series. There's going to be quite a bit of editing. Uh, if I'm particularly stuck at an area... Aw, oh, damn it. It was so close. I'm, I'm stuck at a particular area. I'm just going to skip over it, and I'll skip over to the boss fight. Oh, hello, giant dragon of death. Also, one thing I did not mention in my last video was when I said only great swords, crossbows, and all that. I neglected to mention that I won't be using shields at all, so I can only block with this or, you know, parry. So let's... Ah, shit. Run right through. Drink an Estus. And go over here. Something we have to buy from this guy for this playthrough. I just... Uh, I hate this archer. He's not a good archer. He's just kind of annoying. There we go. Now uh, I can get back down to where I want to be. Uh, my goal for this episode is just to get to the Taurus Demon fight. Uh, I'll probably fight Havel at some point, just because I like fighting Havel. And I think that'll be the episode. There's also a shield back there for anybody who wants to grab it. It might be better than the shield you start off with, just so you know. Can't guarantee that, though. There's actually like, quite a few things to grab in this beginning area, if you know what you're doing, and you know, are good. Uh, let's see, like, there's the Havel's Ring, which is good for heavy armor characters. I won't be using heavy armor, so I doubt I'm going to be uh, bothering it with that much. Also, watch if you can, uh, uh, dang it, got stuck. Oh, actually, I can go down here, I can grab the other secondary weapon from my playthrough. Let me just take care of these spearmen. Or undead. And, ha! Ah, there we go. Uh, despite what you're led to believe, Dark Souls is not really that hard of a game. It's just different. Uh, the game itself is... I wouldn't say it's easy. It's punishing. But even then... It's not like... There's like there's very few parts of the game that are truly unfair. Uh, one of them I can think of is the Capra Demon. Just because it's such an annoying area. Uh, you're in a tight room, and he's got such a wide hit range. He's got these two annoying little dogs that will stun lock you, and I hate them. <laughs> but that's fine. It's part of the experience. Dying is part of the experience, and do not worry. There will be dying. In fact, uh, right about here, you'll start seeing uh, my death counter. I haven't died yet because, let's face it, I've played this game like seven times already. I'm not going to die too often on the starting area. Right over here, we got our starting weapon, the light crossbow. Let's go ahead and equip that. And I lost my light roll, so let's get rid of that for now. Ah. 
I'm gonna cut right here and when you see me again I will be back at that bonfire okay we're back you may notice that every time I rest the bonfire enemies respawn Although I'm guessing you knew that already it's gonna put some more points into endurance and that should let me have my crossbow out. Nope, not yet. Oh well. Uh, there will not be much PvP on this character. Maybe at a later level, like maybe level 50. I'll start hanging out in An Orlando and getting to PvP fights. Or helping people fight bosses. Now... The one thing I want to do in this series is it's not, like I said, like I said, I should say, it's not a completionist run. This is just me playing the game a certain way. Whoops, just wasted a crossbow bolt there. Oh, I think I'm going to die. Get out of it. Oh, no. Well, uh, that's one death. I'll design a little death counter to put in these videos. And we're back. You will notice that I cut out that loading screen. And something else, I am no longer all pretty. As a matter of fact, I'm damn ugly. <laughs> I look like a beef jerky zombie. This is called being hollowed. Now, there's no major detriment to being hollow. Just that you can't summon help. This is basically the offline mode. There we go. I'm going to cut again, and you'll see me when I'm moving to a new area, because you don't want to see this again. Okay, new area. These guys are a bit of a bitch to kill, but if you, as long as you're careful, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's just to... Uh, warriors they've already fought and then this guy he's a little bit of a pain he's got fire bombs there we go and right over here is going to be the item that we need or I don't say we, I shouldn't say we need it it makes killing this boss a lot easier even though most of the bosses at this point are hopelessly easy and one right over there. I wonder if they're all gonna. Oh, they're probably all gonna pop up back here. Which probably. Yep. Uh, the game of Dark Souls, the meta, I should say, is more about dodging than blocking. I mean, you can totally block. Uh, there's uh, suits that let you, you know, kind of tank through hits. But you're never going full tank in the sense that you're going to take scratch damage and then just kind of whittle away your enemy. You can do that, but it's not, you know, the most common playthrough or play style, I should say. And he's dead. Uh, so right now I've got a choice. I can either go up these stairs and fight the Taurus Demon or go down there through that door and fight Havel. I think I'm actually going to go up here and fight the Taurus Demon, just so I have that route opened up later. I'll fight Havel at a later date. Now that white wall acts as a one-way gate. You go through and you can't go back out until you finish this area. Luckily the demon doesn't spawn until you get like down there. All you gotta worry about is these two little guys up here, which I definitely recommend taking out in any way you can. Because if you don't, they'll be uh, messing with you the whole fight, and that's just a pain. We're going to pop one last Estus, and I think that's the last one we're going to need for this round. Use my gold pine resin, and he should... Right, but there he is. Not the most intense fight, because I'm just running way back here, and the music kicks in. This wonderful, wonderful, iconic music. He's gonna try to hit me. He's gonna miss. Let me get a lock on him. And there we go. On New Game Plus, you can basically take this guy out in one or two hits. He's not a hard fight in, by any meaning of the term. Oh shit. 
Dark Souls is also resource management. Son of a... Am I alive? Yes, I got one last hit. Oh my god, I got one sliver of health. Pop and Estus, pop and Estus. Get in there. God, this is great. Boom. Oh god, that was close. Oh god, this is, I'm not doing too good. Dodge! God, one hit. One more hit. I can do this. Come on, finish him! Yes! No! Die! Yes! You stay down, demon. That was a nice little fight. So we're gonna go right over here and I'll finish this episode by talking to one guy. And that'll be it. Here we are. This guy is Solaire. He is a total bro. He's gonna be what helps me throughout this playthrough. And right now, he's looking at the sun. He's a bit of a wandering warrior trying to find his purpose. And I think he's floating. Oh, he is. He is floating ever so slightly above the ground. Interesting. Well, this Big Bad Blue Eyes signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And when, when I come back, we'll be fighting Havel. Hi, you made it to the end plate. Why don't you click here for Kingdom, or maybe here for Battle for Bad Company 2. If you're interested in supporting my channel, you can click on my Facebook right here, or support me on Patreon right here. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. No one knows what that means anymore.